everybody uh, welcome to the fourth video tutorial in this series of MySQL video tutorials in this video tutorial we will learn about the default configuration file which MySQL server uses when it starts so to control the behavior of, a, of your MySQL server you need to add or change or modify some of the parameters or you can say directives configuration parameters inside this configuration file uh, depending on your operating system the different the location might change uh, for this configuration file but if you have installed mysql server on ubuntu or debian like system then your configuration file will be inside the uh, slash etc slash mysql directory so the, the default configuration file is my.cnf uh, and if you open it in your favorite editor then you can go through it uh, there are lots of different sections in this configuration file uh, the first section is the client which sets up the default port to use when you fire up your client program and this, uh, the, this particular section called mysqld is the important one for us so that whatever parameters or configuration values are set up here uh, sets the behavior of your server so for example this first parameter user is the user with uh, which is the owner of your mysql server process the second parameter is the location for the process id file third parameter is the location of your socket file which client which which uh, which is the unix socket if you are aware with the unix operating system you might understand that and uh, that when you are connecting to the local server by firing up a client program on the same machine like we are doing it here it always connects to the socket and gets access to the server the port is the parameter which sets up the default port on which mysql server will be listening uh, data dir is the default location where the databases are stored and all other relevant files for the databases are stored temp dir is the place where the temporary tables are created and a uh, other temporary files which MySQL server requires will be stored there. Uh, this bind address parameter is an important one that shows you, it, it shows you that <clears throat> right now our MySQL server when it starts it binds to the IP address 127.0.0.1. <clears throat> this is an important parameter which helps you to set up MySQL server on a dedicated IP if you are having multiple IP addresses on your server. <coughs> sorry so likewise <clears throat> there are lots of other parameters which you can set up and we will go through most of them in your in our upcoming videos uh, for now I'll just try to show you say for example if you want to change your default port from 3306 to 3308 for example then change it save this file and restart your MySQL server for, for before we start this server we just need to check whether the mysql right now is running on port 3306 or not so there are two there are multiple ways to check that one of the way is to use a net state command from the linux or unix command prompt uh, say as grab 3306 so then you can see that your mysql server this is definitely the mysql server running on local ip address which is a bind address which has been specified in my.cnf and the port number so now if we restart mysql using uh, the mysql restart it's stopping and starting now and if you run the same command again it will not return any value because we have changed the value for a port 23308 and now your mysql server is listening on port 3308 let's connect to the mysql server and sorry connect to the mysql server and there is a global parameter or global variable um, inside the mysql configuration because as as this is a service which depends on lots of different parameters and configuration values uh, you can check most of those values and configurations through the MySQL command prompt also. Say for example if you fire up select at at port which is for the port number then it will return the value 3308. 
And if you remember our previous videos where we were learning about the MySQL connection string, if you specify, if you want to connect to the port now, you can use new root minus h127.0.0.1 minus p is for up lowercase p is for password, uppercase p is for port, 3608, enter, username, password, and if you use the command slash s status, it will tell you you are using the TCP connection and the port number is 3308. So this way you can change the value of the parameters inside the my.cnf file. Um, that's it for this video and see you again in the next video. Bye for now.